Welcome to MakeoverSession.com. I'm Diane Hanks. In this segment, I wanted to go a little bit more in depth about the four different personalities that we talked about, and then also relate why that's important as we work on makeovers. When we discover who we are, all of those things become reflected in our surroundings, in our clothing, in what we drive, even in the activities that we choose. So if I may, I'm going to go into the four different personality types, and then I'm going to use the analogy of a car dealership, okay? So I have a little helper with me that I'm going to focus on. The first one, the eagle. Now think about an eagle, the qualities that an eagle possesses. They soar high, alone. They're just majestic. They go right for what they want. They don't need anybody coaching them. They just go. They're results oriented. They make things happen. Now, they're able to make quick decisions. Every personality has good qualities and bad qualities associated with them. If they focus on the bad qualities, then that means what we call they are toxic in whatever that personality is. So the bad things about being an eagle include that same thing that makes them focus, maybe makes them insensitive to other people's feelings as they're going for their goals. Maybe they're just kind of loners. They don't want to be around other people. They may be rude to other people that don't share their same kind of conviction. Does that sound like somebody that you know? Does that somebody sound like somebody that you're married to? Just something to think about. Okay, the next one I want to talk about is the dove. Think about a dove, peace, peaceful. They're loyal, they are family oriented, they're security focused. They're very easy going, they abide by the rules. Friendships are important, they have deep friendships. They're very, very slow to change. In their appearance, they're very conservative. They're very good planners, and they're very good with money. Good savers. Now, the bad things about being this way, <laughs> if there are some, is that sometimes they can be a little bit serious. They forget sometimes to take the time and enjoy life a little bit. Let me go into another one, the owl. The owls are detail oriented. They follow the rules. They're very analytical, perfectionistic. They're very exacting. They're precise and organized. They like the facts. They are rarely, if ever, tardy, ever. That's just too important for them to be right on time. They drive conservative cars, they shop, very um, conservatively, they try to get the most value for their money, okay? Now, let's talk about the last personality type, the peacock. Okay, the peacocks in the world are very people-oriented. They're recognition-focused. They're expressive. They love to talk, and they love to be heard. They love listening to people. They laugh. They're enthusiastic. They're the life of the party. They're impulsive. 
They're not too detail oriented. They will spend the money on something because they love it. They may not even have the money to do it. They just thrive on excitement and fun and they're just involved in so many activities. Now sometimes, you know, what they drive even, whoo, the Jeeps, the little, ooh, the little uh, Volkswagens, they're fun cars. That's what you think of, oh, that is so fun. Even the way they dress, you know, they have fun little, you know, bright colors and, you know, cute little details on their clothing and it's just a complete opposite of the person who's just very conservative. And there are, as we go into more depth, uh, I'll, I'll be posting like which shops to shop for that are appropriate for each of these styles. Which magazines do they prefer to read? Which cars do they like to drive? So that you're completely true to the, your real self as reflected in your environment, what you drive, what kind of shoes you wear, all of those things. Okay. <laughs> I know certain uh, peacocks that just make me laugh because that's what they do. They're the life of the party. Now, I'm not going to tell you what I am. I'm going to let you try and figure that out. But uh, just know that as we get older and we have more life experience that we borrow from different types of personalities that we might become more responsible and more well-rounded as individuals. So, in the car dealership, think about how that experience goes if you go to buy a car. The first person you see is the peacock. That's the salesperson. They love you. They're so happy to see you. Hey, come on in. They will and they deal and they get the, they get the sale, okay? The next person you see He's not all personality, but he's the one they give all that paperwork to because he crosses those I's, he dots the T's, he makes sure everything gets signed. Now what about the person who owns that dealership? You may never even see that person, but you better be darn sure that that person who owns that dealership hopefully understands and appreciates that they couldn't do what they do if they didn't have all those other types working with them. This world would not be the same if we didn't have these four different personality types. But understanding who they are, what kinds are good with you, will help your relationship makeovers. Will help how you dress that is true to you. That is why we're talking about personalities on MakeoverSession.com. I hope that was a little bit insightful and helpful as to why we're talking about this. Thanks for joining me on this session.